Higher, 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 higher. So do you throw pretty much the same style of bowl now, or do you try to pretty much? Sometimes I'll put a flat grip on it. Depends on how it's going. Yeah. Yeah. And I tried to so Matt, you said you usually spend a lot of time doing this. What would be a lot of time for you? About the same. About the same. Yeah. Is that a long time? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to push that right in and bring that up. It said the battery level was low and it shown Okay. I don't know, it's a rechargeable thing. So up to this point, um, is there anything different you do if you know you're throwing a bowl rather than a vertical piece? Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I would, obviously the inside I would make rounded rather okay. than a flat base. That's, that's about the only difference up to this point, really. Okay. I would leave the rim a bit thicker as well, because obviously the wider you pull it out, the thinner it gets. Okay. Also, I'd use a sponge. When it starts getting a bit bigger, lumps of clay, I use a sponge on over my finger. Did you get that sponge at Turpin Springs? <laughs> no. They want to switch it all. So with bowls, I would normally throw them up a bit taller mm -hmm. and then push them down with a with the trusty metal kidney. Bring this down a little lower first. Mm -hmm. So first up with a bowl, I would use the kidney on the outside to get the outside nice and smooth. Take a lot of that water off. Can you start over? Mm -hmm. And after this, I'll torch it. Now, how 
Which weight was that? This was, I think, four and a half pound. Yeah. Okay, I'll torch that now. So with bowls at this stage, I would use the kidney and start at the rim, push that down and then the rest should follow. Push the rim down first. And then follow the rest. What did you do that Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't try. <laughs> Do you find with these sponges that have so much um, 
the term is, the texture, so much texture to be a problem. So I tend to use a makeup sponge. There's no texture at all. No. No. So the porcelain, it doesn't make a difference for you? I don't think so. No, I quite like these sponges. Um, I quite like the shape of them as uh, yeah, well. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, quite, yeah, they're quite good. I think the makeup sponges tend to get sticky and ground the clay. So I like the coarser texture because it's, okay. it lets the clay travel through. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it doesn't get clogged up as as much as a um, like one of your makeup sponges. Mm. Not that I have a makeup sponge. <laughs> 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 it's none of our business. You can't <laughs> 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 That's right. Only on the weekends. On the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the videos. Yeah. Okay. Do I get a copy? Uh, we have to have him sign a release form. You <laughs> <laughs> probably should watch yourself. So is this how a lot of you would throw a bowl? Would you, <laughs> would you use the rib and start on, on the rim and push down, or? Start from the middle out. No, you just start middle out. But this is middle out. Out. Start yeah. like that and Pretty push well. it out. Don't yeah. do as tall. Yeah. I start out the rim and, and blend it into the bottom. I find so going you, down, I have less, yeah. less problems. Mm -hmm. So also at this stage, I'm not using any water. If I was to make this out of my porcelain, it would slump in the kiln. Oh. Yeah. So I, this is why I like testing this because I made that big bowl and uh -huh. it was really thin. But and it made it through the firing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, perfect. That's good. And that's, that's 50% water, right? Yeah. Yeah. So can I get high water clay and find it? Can you do you have a distributor No, wait for sugar. Okay. Do you currently have any people who are buying clay? Not in England, no. Well, you could have Matt be your distributor. <laughs> you could just pay him the clay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working for him. I think he wants money. He can buy groceries. Oh, it's on commission. <laughs> So with the rim, just round that off, I would use a bit of plastic. I know some people use like a chamois or... Uh, and then wrap that around that rim. Just gets it nice and round and nice and smooth. And it just finishes it off nice. That's about it. I think. Mm -hmm. Just need to cut the base. So is that also pretty much leather heart with the torch? Um, it's probably a bit before leather heart. Yeah. And I was still able to push it down. But because this isn't on a bat. Our, our torch is to leather hard so that when I pick it up it doesn't flex about. Mm -hmm. 